all day money power respect three the hard way what up world welcome back to three the hard way tv i got a, a, a colorful cast here this evening we got the beautiful brie we got the newcomer the beautiful Rhonda. you ready you ready <laughs> 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 we got we got Ken, y'all know Ken, Boo Watson, Real, Watson. the Triple OG, Derek is back on Colin. today's show. We talking colorism, okay? And the black community is a is a very popular thing. Uh, dark skin versus light skin. We got a couple of light skin people on here. Real and Rhonda, they gonna represent for the light mm. skin people. <laughs> No, I'm a caramel type of nigga. <laughs> why? Why do y'all think this is? A, a, well, Bree almost she almost light skin. Oh, you just like a little bit, a little shake, a little, a little to me is all. <laughs> but uh, why? Why do y'all think this is a thing, and why is it like such a problem? Because I've heard people growing up, they say like people used to call them. Uh, names like Black Biscuit or Burnt Biscuit <laughs> or, or, or yeah. black, things like that or a guy say I only mess with light skinned women because they look better and so I never had that problem growing up because I was always dark dark sexy chocolate you know what I'm saying so well, I don't know. Dark chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> hey. and it was on his style oh, Eddie Murphy Wesley Snipes once they stopped making mm -hmm. movies, it was over. Man, cut it out. <laughs> so, 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 why, why do y'all think this is a thing? Boo Wasa, what's up? Talk to us. Hey, bro, why you always putting me on the spot first, bro? Because <laughs> you don't want you to always be talking about you only like light-skinned girls. I ain't, oh, I ain't never said no shit like that. I said I don't like fat girls. <laughs> oh, you heard? I said I don't yeah, like fat, fat girls. Shit, I, 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 I fuck a blue bitch if she thick. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, I fuck a blue bitch if she thick and she look good. You hear me? That's all I'm trying to tell you. But like, no, I ain't, I ain't got no, no, bro, no. Classifications on what what I'm trying to fuck out here, whatever the case may be. If you got if you got good conversation, man, you can talk to me whenever I need to talk. If your pussy good or whatever, man, you blue, green, whatever the fuck race you is, shit, uh, I'll fuck with you. I ain't got no preparations on that light skin, dark skin, shit, shit. Either your pussy good or it ain't. That's that's all. That, that's all <laughs> you know what is good. <laughs> Whoa, how do whoa. I know when it's good? Yeah. How, do I, how do I know? How do I know no. when it's good? What you have to say to him, Ronnie? Huh? What you have what to say to him? What does Seth got to do with color right now? Like, <laughs> I'm just trying to free. I'm, I'm just saying, if I can talk to you, I don't care if you can, if you can uh, uh, hold a conversation with me or whatever the case may be, or. Uh, your booty big. I don't give a fuck if you blue, red, white, orange. That's what it got to do with it. Okay, well, Boo Watson, like... It okay. about sex, sweetheart. It ain't, it ain't okay. just about sex, sweetheart. So, no, Boo Watson, sex. so that, that's your preference, but why do you think in a hood... In a, uh, in I'm a community, telling you I don't got no preference. That's no, not I'm you, talking. not you. I'm saying, you know, like coming up, people will be like, oh, they like light skinned girls better. Why do you think that was with other people? Racist. <laughs> Racist towards Racist. your own people? Yeah, yeah, that's all it got to be, man, because all pussy look, all <laughs> pussy, all, mostly all pussy the same, man. You hear me? Oh, okay. I hear you. All right, all <laughs> that's, that's, I, I disagree with that. <laughs> I disagree. Okay, well, let's get a perspective for one of them. What? Let's get a perspective for one What's the question? Go ahead. Colorism. What's the question? Color, colorism. How did you deal with colorism right. growing, growing up? Light, oh. bright. Light, bright. I dealt with, a, with it a lot. Start off in kindergarten. Kindergarten? You want, let me give you one story. Now, I, 
This she was she wasn't ugly, but she was dark skinned. Kindergarten there had a Jerry curl. She picked on me. She took my banana. What you was gonna do? Her, with that and I asked her. Is this what? Oh I'm my god! Eat it. That was my one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, That's let let me let me mute this motherfucker. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> no, uh, this one I found, well, that wasn't the first time, but she, she used to pick on me a lot. She had a jerry curl. She was dark-skinned. And, you know, my, I was a little lighter now. I was a little lighter, more lighter than I am now. With long hair, my hair was a little longer than this. So, yeah, she used to pick on me. And um, they used to call me these names called, uh, well, as I got older, they used to call me White Hunky. White, I uh, got all types of white monkey, all types of stuff. I used to get picked on a lot, so yeah. Wow. Hey, so why do you I'm think sorry, that, that is? Yeah. Why do you think that is in our community? Why do you think that is in our community that different shades bring on that type of hatred? I think we just uneducated about our uh, our history, like uh, the, the uh, color, you know. Yeah, most of us is, you know, back then, I think we're just uneducated that they looked at me because all they see is my skin color. They don't actually know that I am, both of my parents are black. We just fair skinned. And a lot of people don't know, most people in Africa, we have light skinned Africans and all around. We just, we, we make all types of shades. A lot of people don't just do not know their culture. Well, so, I think, um, I agree with what Ron talking about. I think maybe we should, uh, you know, do a one on one about this later without them. But, <laughs> but, uh, but, but, so, but to piggyback on what you're you talking about, I think I think we like uneducated. We've been brainwashed yeah. to think like black black is ugly and and you know and light skin, you know, is is it's, it's attractive. And batter and stuff like that, but and once privilege. we started getting, and privilege, and, but mm -hmm. once we saw like coming out of our shield and start educating ourselves on black is beautiful and and embracing our natural skin color and our heritage, we start like seeing the light. But it comes from it comes from ignorance though. Like, yeah, that's you know, true. A lot of people not educated on on. I really want to hear what my boy Derek got to say. Not yet. Uh, Not we saving Dad for last. Go ahead, Bree. No. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna let Derek go ahead and spit my ideas out of his head first. Go, Bree. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never experienced it, but. <laughs> I did used to call kids African booty scratchers, bird biscuits. I did. I was that kid. Um, and I, I, I think growing up, black was always something affiliated with something bad. Yeah. And light skin was tend to be the right skin and different things like that. And that has always been a a, a pillar of beauty. The lighter you are, the more beautiful you supposed to be depicted to be. Um, personally, I don't think so because I've seen a lot of, I mean, light women, just because you light don't automatically make you cute because you can, I mean, cause, uh, I've seen some ugly light and, and possibly <laughs> not cute at all. So um, I think it's just a lack thereof because. I remember growing up, um, even with my cousins, everybody would gravitate towards the white dolls, the white Barbie dolls. The black Barbie dolls was not cute. Um, they had the worst hair. Um, it was like, oh, you didn't want to play with that and what was even being portrayed on television. But my mama made sure that she's always, I don't give a damn, if I asked her for a doll, she definitely got me a black doll. So um, I'm, okay with the skin that I am in. I know it's kids that I did talk about, but um, you know, they'll be in burnt biscuits because they started talking about me first. <laughs> so that was just my defense mechanism 
So I had to get down on their skin first and then I can get on, because we all wear uniforms, so I couldn't talk about their clothes because we had on them the same thing. So yeah, it was just the it was just the thing to do. But I mean, I wouldn't call nobody no burnt biscuit now. But I mean, my son, he's not the darkest of kid, but I still tell him get his black ass somewhere and sit down. It's just just what I do. But I think like you like everybody else said, it is a lack of ignorance, lack of education in regards and being comfortable within our skin because we are not. And it's so many white people or people that doesn't aren't able to provide melanin that's trying mm -hmm. to be like us you know even with billboards like i seen one that was like oh you want kinkier hair and it was a white woman with a fairer faucet kind of like blow out the tease to even make her stuff look like a fro wow. so the more it's just I, like i said i just think that there's more just what's taught what's taught what we seem to be correct so okay that's my well. piece I'm, I'm gonna go before Derek and real go. Um, growing up, I, you know, I witnessed some of these yeah, same things. What people thought that, you know, the lighter, light skin was better, but then like right around when I was coming into, you know, uh, being going from a boy to a young man, like 89, 91, that's when mm -hmm. it was like. you started like, fucking. <laughs> that, that probably was 90, <laughs> that probably was 92. But <laughs> I, <laughs> around that time, you was getting high in '92, boy. That was eleven years old. I didn't know my said nothing about getting high. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right around that time, that's when dark skinned guys start taking over, like me, Morris Chestnut, Billy D, <laughs> Denzel. You know what I'm saying? We we start putting the Chico DeVages to the back burner. And now everybody love dog skin men. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say, man. Now, you know what, Pareto, uh, beauty is beauty no matter what color you are, whether you are light skin, whether you are caramel, whether you are a, a, a dog mocha, whether you dog black. If you're pretty, you're pretty. It got nothing right. to do with your skin. And, you know, I still hear people now because I got some friends. I'm not going to say their name. They say shit like, I only fuck with light skin women. She got to be red or I ain't fucking with her. I don't like dark skinned girls. I, I hear, I've heard this shit repeatedly and I'm kind of sick of it because it's some beautiful. So what do you, so what, so if these are your compadres and people that you socialize with by you having uh, a, a dark skinned child or daughter. What you know, my, my daughter's, my daughter's not dark though. Nope. They say, they, 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 light either. They, they about the same color as you or, or you are uh, real. Right. They, they about that same color. Because, I mean, I, if somebody is portraying that they only mess with light-skinned women or red bones, I'm not a red bone. Your child would not be a red bone. Now you're right. telling Hey, people so, don't fuck who they want to fuck for one. Right. Okay, so <laughs> we're, 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 we're beyond the sex at this point is what I'm saying. Is that Ooh. you won't even... These what people you that you talking about won't that's even talk to nobody. That's a big part of the relationship, fucking. That's a big part of the relationship, fucking. <laughs> go, go ahead, Derek. So I, I, I just speak to my personal experiences. So, um, growing up as a kid, you know. Hey, hey, my, uh, hey, hey, uh, before you finish, if anybody called you a black biscuit, we fucking them up after this over with. Go nah, ahead, nah. Oh, folks. Oh, phone them great. I mean, see, I know who I am, so that, that type of stuff, that don't bother me. You know, I look at that as compliments, right? So, uh, but I'll just tell you my experience. So growing up, obviously my family's complexion was like mine, and most of the people that I grew up with were like mine. But I can remember like in sixth grade, you know, when you, about sixth grade, that's when you had like crushes on girls. And I had, you know, <laughs> this, girl, I, this girl, I used to always woke. And she was like, you so black, you, you black, you, you so dark, you so dark. And I found myself around at sixth grade. I'll go home and look in the mirror like, what did she say that I don't see? So, <laughs> but as I, as I grew older, uh, as an adult, uh, I may have experienced maybe five times, three times that somebody mentioned my skin complexion. You know, I didn't had a couple of guys joke about it and you know, like, damn, yo, you look like one of the Africans. And I'm like, damn, my people is African, so who am I supposed to look like? 
Um, but uh, beyond that, I can remember, you know, just, just growing up and I, I met this lady at a fair or something and she came up to me, she ran to me, she was like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Your, your skin is so lovely and only God could have made that. You know what I'm saying? So when she told me that, it's kind of affirmed the fact that, um, you know, my skin is the way it is for a particular reason. But as it relates to dating women and stuff like that, when I look at black women, I have, you know, dated various shades of black women, but I never, you know, relegated myself to say, okay, well, she got to be red, she got to be, you know, what? light, dark. What? Because remember, my sisters what? are dark. So I'd be disrespecting my sisters <laughs> if I'm talking about I, I can only date a, a light-skinned woman. But I believe my sisters are lovely and beautiful, you know what I'm saying? They're my sisters, they're my blood. But I think I'd be disrespecting them if I say, well, I'm not going to mess with no woman unless she's light-skinned and so forth. I think that when it comes to complexion, that it's a personal preference. But, you know, as it relates to me being in my own skin, I'm pretty cool with um, I am. Now, my son, mother, she, her skin complexion is lighter than mine, maybe like Brie or whatever. And so my son, his skin complexion is about that, right? And then I got grandmother's, my grandmother's skin complexion light. You kind of follow me, so sometimes his hair, and my son, he's somewhat lighter than me, and he'd be like, man, like dad, you know, why my skin ain't too dark as yours? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why? Because I want my skin to be your complexion. You understand what I'm saying? So when it comes to uh, dark skin, I think, you know, it's really a preference. And, and, and so growing up, the way me and my guys rotate, we used to actually have debates over who was the darkest. So we wanted to be the darkest out of the crew. Whereas now other people want to be the lightest out of the crew. We want to be darker and say, man, y'all scared don't look like this. I, I, I'm the darkest possible person. So we know obvious that here means what? The darkest possible complexion in the human man. Here, man, man means mentality. Here means skin complexion, man right. means mentality. So I'm okay with it, but... uh. I think when it as it relates to this, this colorism, you know, that's that's come from society and a lot of um, individuals, you know, with social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, now you're able to reach the world, you're able to reach the masses on your own, opposed to have to actually be a celebrity. We got more women who's looking exotic, you know, they got Facebook, Instagram accounts. So I think a lot of our sisters say, okay, well, we got a lot of brothers who's successful. They go into these type of women, so I want to look excited as well. So then this would the battle come in there where they say, okay, well, I'm lovely, you I'm light skinned, I'm pretty, y'all dark, y'all ugly thing like that. So I don't think it's it it um so it may be borderline man, but I don't I hope don't no man give a fuck how another <laughs> man looks. You, you kind of follow me? Right. I think it really come down to the agenda is continue to be pushed because it's an agenda. So mm -hmm. the agenda continue to be pushed by our women because what ended up happening, we have a lot of successful black men who, you know, maybe my skin complexion or, or darker, and when they become successful, they tend to look for exotic women, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Colombias, you know, the European looking women. So a lot of our sisters say, okay, well, I want to look like that to attract those successful men because that's what they talk to entertain, to attract a certain type of man. So then they begin to shit on each other. Oh, you look like an animal. You look like a monkey. You know, you, your hair look like this. And then we begin to internalize that and say, okay, well, I got to look a certain way. But one of the things that I know for sure is that, see, you can't buy this skin complexion in no motherfucking uh, weed shop or no shit like that. So you can't go to the store and buy this. So you can go somewhere and get some bleaching cream to make your skin lighter. But there ain't too many places that I know that you can go back and get some skin like this here. You're kind of following me. So I'm, I'm pretty cool with this here, you know, but I think it's all about commercialism, um, social media, uh, stereotype, dark complexion. But I think it really become uh, with our sisters because our women, they really are backbone. And they the one who decide as a man what I'm going to like, or what I'm going to be attracted to. And then they end up taking on different cultures, the European culture, the Colombian culture, the Dominican uh, culture, the, the, the hair and all that stuff. So then we began to elevate one particular complexion over the other. But, you know, we all brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Like I think uh, 
Rhonda mentioned, you know, if you go to certain parts of Africa, then you can always right. find different shades of, uh, you know, uh, uh, of Africans. You know what I'm saying? It's really just the breakdown in pigmentation in the skin and the melanin. But, you know, I think that is really about social media. And it's called social engineering. There you go. Social engineering. You're right. Right on. Go ahead, real. Anybody got comments? All right. So, uh, I'm, that, I'm one of those friends Dion was talking about. I knew he was talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> growing, growing up, yeah, that, that's how it was, you know what I'm saying? All of us ran together, but he know, like, I wasn't anybody darker than me, I wasn't even looking, you know? I tried it, and it wasn't for me, you know what I'm saying? I, I heard somebody that was close to us because she was dark skin, and I flat out and told her, like, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But that, come on, man, don't be calling her name. Man. <laughs> you don't even know what you missed out on, bro. That shit probably was hey. a bomb. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'll tell you on a later conversation. Uh, but but that came from my uncle. You know what I'm saying? My uncle looked at like Derek, but all dude dated was Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, white women. Big and Frank. He didn't have, no, nah, no, nah, my mom, my mom, brother, man. Okay. So I ran with him. He used to have me with him all the time. So that's all I see. So then when I start getting into women and liking girls, it was already programmed in me. But once I got older, you know, I changed up. Uh, I ain't got too many stipulations. My wife and I dark, though. She like my color, maybe a little lighter. But um. Hey, yeah, I was talking to you earlier. You had to get off the phone and shit. What was that about? <laughs> <laughs> Um. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, I, I think it's a, like kind of like what Derek was saying. And I think like those real red bones that we're talking about. It's such a rarity in our community that when there's one in there, everybody tend to gravitate to it because it's rare. It's like you don't see that commonly. Like you can see a dark skin girl everywhere you go, or maybe a, a shade lighter than dark skin. So when you see something like Derek say that look exotic or rare. You tend to want it. Like, you like, oh, let me see it. You know, typical, let's paint the typical red bone. Light skin, maybe got some color eyes. You going out, most people go go after that versus, you know what I'm saying, the girl that they that just find anywhere pretty much. So I think that caused it a little bit is that it was rare for us to see it. So it was like, oh, I got to have it. And then, because like you said, like TV and all that perpetuate the white woman as a beauty standard. So lighter women we look at like oh they they beautiful you know what i'm saying it's just now coming to their age where we see they trying to be more like us where we starting our men and starting to kind of wake up and see like that ain't what it really is and even if you took it back probably to slavery then, i'm pretty sure those fair hey, slaves then if you want to talk about colorism like what part of colorism is you talking about is you talking about colorism with the women is you talking about colorism as far as how we've been treated over the years no nah, no nah. how we treat way. each other it just, means that it yeah. means exactly what it means bro it don't take a dictionary to okay, figure that so, out okay so with colorism then like shit as far as we've been treated over the years god damn it as far as white people bro all that marching and shit, man. Gonna sit y'all ass down. Gonna whoop somebody, bro. You heard me? So we that's, have a different. That's, so that's, I'm, I'm that's racism. Not that, one, not that one here. So he said like no, in, that's, in, that's colorism. Now we're gonna get to relationships. I'm gonna get to the relationships. Relationship part. Well, it ain't even got. It ain't. It ain't even got to be. Hey, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. For, hold on. Before we, you you go there, I got a question for. Uh, I got a question for Bree and Rhonda. Was there ever any point in your life where you wished you were darker than you were? Mm, that's mm. a good question. Not me. Mm. Wait, yes, I did. Black people walk around in 100 degree weather like it's cool. No, I never. <laughs> no. <laughs> never, Rhonda? No, I, I don't. Never cross my mind, no. Mm mm. What about you, Bri? Um, it was only one time in my life, and I think um, I was listening to this um, young prophet, um, and he said, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So I wanted my juice sweeter. So I was like, damn, yeah. if I was a little darker, does that make my juice sweeter? So that was probably only one time. <laughs> but uh, other than that, um, 
No. Uh, I might have some light skinned sisters, and um, they probably have done colorism towards me only because I was more of a shade of my dad. So everybody is accused that I looked at like my dad all the time. And they always wanted to look like my dad. But typically, they did look more like him than I did because I'm literally a combination of both my mom and my dad. But they look more like them. They just were lighter because my grandmother is like, my uncles are like all of like, you know, those before them are like, so they, they picked up those. So yeah. that was probably only one time. Hey, I was like, hey, oh, yeah, I wanted him to be talking hey, to no me disrespect. at that first. No disrespect. And I'm not trying to cut you off, Bree. But you did, but okay. It don't even matter. Fuck that. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, but look, look, look. I got a better question. I got a better question. Has it ever been a time, has it ever been a time as a black woman, whether you light skinned or light skinned or caramel or dark skinned, and somebody asked you a question that made you feel like, Oh, I, I wish this motherfucker was like, like, like the the question this mother, the way this motherfucker want me to answer this question. I wish I was the nigga this person want. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you you light skin, uh, Rhonda, and the, and, uh -huh. and the other girls a little darker. Uh huh. Like, has anyone ever came at you in a way where you was like, I wish I can, uh be my skin color is that you know what i'm saying not... people you know about you being black about you being black you know people uh, uh say something to you in a way and think you roll that way but you might don't even roll that way have anybody ever said something to you in a in a context to like well now i you know what i don't even get down like this but i will get down on this motherfucker like this like what's an example to that question? Like yeah, somebody like, like, example like, is like oh like, like, what you mix like, with like or, like, uh, like 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 Rhonda, like Rhonda, you real like so like say somebody like uh A Rab or something, you walk into a store, uh -huh. A Rab say something. Uh -huh. Say a Arab say something and it's like nigga this and woo out the band, but you're not even really that type of person, so you're not even trying to push it to that right. point. But the the way the Arab pushing it is, he just see you as a nigga, so he wants you to push it to that point. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in that point where you got them head to do some shit or say some shit to a motherfucker, but that wasn't even in your colorism? One in her <laughs> yeah, color. you know what I'm saying? Even in your colorism. Yeah. So she has she ever had to act blacker than what she was because she was light skinned? You know what I'm saying? That African blood yeah. still pumps through her veins, regardless right, right. of that. Yeah. But you know, I would be like, oh, if you that dark black, like, oh, that strong motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I got it. Are you trying to are you trying to say, did I have to like prove because I'm light skinned, I have to prove my blackness because yeah. I'm not black? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I get what you because I have to, okay. Um sorry no. it took so long. Sorry it took so long. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> but it's more so in the black community because she looked more mixed. Did she have to prove more so? Like, you know, how, yeah. Go ahead, Ron. So you saying is it was it easy for me to get certain things like get a job? What whatever the case it might be. Are you trying to say that also in those categories? Yeah, you put all that in that. Like, is, was, was it easy for me in my life? Like, you trying to say was it easy because I'm light skinned to get? I, I, what know I, what I know what niggas go through. I know what niggas go through. So let me, let me. I'm, I'm gonna have to try in real quick, bro. We are gonna have to have this come now for a minute, bro. But I think uh, what I'm hearing the brother say is that Ron, have you ever had to? You know, by you being fair skinned, you don't look like a stereotypical woman that's in, in the immediate community. So it sounds like he asked you, have you ever had to like get ghetto to say, hey, I'm from this particular neighborhood as well as you are. So it sounds like that's what he means because when he uses the term, you know, whatever, nigga, I mean, that really don't have no okay. meaning at this point. You, so you ain't no nigga, Derek? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
think that's what the, the when I was young, that's why I think people picked on me because like, oh, she she not, you know, I look weak, she white, she not black, she not strong like us. But that's I think that's probably why I got because I never understood what I got packed, picked on all the time. Like, okay, I know I know I'm black, I know my parents are black, but I I, I wasn't looking at skin color because I I'm most of my co I probably got a couple of cousins that's. Uh, fair skin, like five. The rest of my cousins are like dark, and, you know, they not dark, dark, but they darker than me. But I never saw color, so uh, I used to get picked on a lot. I don't think I had to prove my uh, I never had to prove my blackness to no right. one or whatever. Now they probably look at me like I'm soft, like oh she won't get down, and they're like if you push my buttons, I'm a nice <laughs> girl, but you have to really push yeah, my yeah, buttons. Yeah. I, you know, I can give you. I give it to you, but you have to push me there. But I know I never had to really prove when somebody says something to me. No, I okay. didn't have to go through that. Since, since. It was hard, hard for me, just as much for any other black person that's darker than you. So, what about you, Bree? Mm -hmm. Hold on, since since you brought that up, I, I will say like there's been points and times where like just say something happened, me and a guy get into an argument. Or mm -hmm. you know a situation like that, I'm like, nigga, your ass acting like a light skinned nigga. <laughs> now, <laughs> now right. we like we we typically see, like he said though, like he he took long enough to get to. We do tend to think of a light skinned person being softer than a dark skinned yeah. person, which I don't mm -hmm. know why, but it's just you know it's just one of them stereotypes. You know Everybody that shouldn't, that, right that here, shouldn't exist. Right. What'd you say, Doc? I didn't say nothing. Want me to elaborate on it? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. So, uh, me personally, I never had a preference. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm taking the Eight, eight to eighty, no. black, crippling, crazy, huh? So you going from a relationship standpoint? It, it don't matter. I feel like me, honestly. I feel like if if you honest with me, and we can vibe, and I respect you, and you respect me, it don't matter what color you is. Exactly. We go rock. That's the same shit I was just saying. Exactly. Like we go, we go rock, bro. Like, like I never hear like I never hear no, no, no slimness or. Big booty, big breasts, or her complexion like that shit don't move me. I don't care about none of that. You know, it's it's how you it's, it's how you are as a person. That's how my granny raised me. So I don't know. I can't speak for nobody else, but I'm 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 shooting my shot at anything. As long as I see you, you genuine, you real. You know, I'm 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 gone, baby. You know, we uh we go ride these waves. You know? And they go for relationships. They go for friendships. Relationships. For they go relationships. friendships. They go for goddamn it. Your, uh, the motherfuckers you hang around. Mm -hmm. Like we can be now, cool, whoever. What? But I, I'm gonna be honest. You know, I have been leaning toward lately. I have been leaning towards the slim, slim sisters. You know, like I said, I said. Lately, you know, I've been my preference have been, you know, dating okay. slim chicks. I got, I got, I got on. one more question for the ladies, right? <clears throat> Rhonda, no. you, you, you are light, and I, you know, I made my light bright joke. Uh, and Bree, you are uh, 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 not my complexion. I'm, 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 calm, <laughs> I'm a caramel macchiato, okay? Okay. Hey, <laughs> Okay. That's what I am. You you a weak Timberland? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. I will be real. <laughs> now, now, my question to both of y'all is: <laughs> <laughs> what what color guy typically tends to get at you the most? Dark skin. <laughs> Breathe. They do. I, I, I would give it uh, dark skin. I do a 60 40. More, more dark than light, but it's like 
the light ones kind of drive on me a little harder, I would say. So they're a little bit more consistent than the dark ones. But um, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have a preference personally. Um, if you if you tall, I'm <laughs> hey, how you doing? Like that's that's me. I'm more so of a I'm a height type of chick. I shows as grew like two. I still I shows as grew like two or three inches. <laughs> I used to have a preference. I used yeah. to date nothing but light skin. <laughs> Now I like I like the light skin, but when I was in high school and I saw this dark, I'm sorry, I'm reminiscing. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> he was dark. <laughs> we did not he go to the same high school. school. He was take, take away no, back. No, no, take away I used to date old. No, I used to date older men, so he was not in high school. Sugar daddy. Oh uh, no, daddy. he was not no sugar daddy. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Ain't no, no. Sugar daddy. No, he was not. He wasn't a sugar daddy. He wasn't that old. No. So this this the guy to change Derek, your he mind. Was Derek, he was Derek complexion. Complexion. Hey. When I no, first time, it wasn't you, Derek. Was Derek. <laughs> no, <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> no, no, man. Well, it might no, be. It, was, it might be moved forth from this day. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was Derek Complexion. One day, what changed my mind was his his appearance. I like a clean. I love a clean man. So one day he had got all cut up, came pick me up. I said, "Damn, he fine." And that that changed my mind. From now, I still do light skin, but mostly I've been getting a lot of attention from dark men. So okay, yeah, so they come after me a lot. So we heard, uh, we heard Boo Watson preference. We heard, hey, 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 hey keep my name at your mouth. So, so, uh, Deanna Derek, before we wrap this video up, what, what, what is it about the woman now that you just you prefer colorism, any type of materialistic stuff? What is it? Okay, well, we know that y'all all know me, y'all know me, shit my whole life y'all know i tend to uh move towards the darker woman you know what i'm saying not mm. not saying that I, I haven't met with my share of light-skinned women you know what i'm saying but i just mm -hmm. i, I just <laughs> let me mute this nigga i just <laughs> yeah y'all know <laughs> that, that i tend i tend to like you know my darker women but but it, it doesn't you know, I'm I'm in a relationship with a darker woman. She's actually darker than me. But I'm just saying that I just want a motherfucker with some sense. You know what I'm saying? Thank if, you. If right. I if I wasn't in a relationship with my woman, I would be looking for a motherfucker with some with some motivation, with some sense, and some drive. That's all I need, right. man. I, you gotta know Can how to cook. You, you gotta know how to cook. Right. Can I ask you a question? Do do uh, do you men believe? I'm asking the men. Do you think all yellow, all light skinned women are crazy? Because you know that's what they say, and I don't think so. I'm not crazy. No, no I, 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 I think, I think, and, and this is no disrespect. I think bitches is crazy as a whole. It's just like no, no. Right, right. <laughs> Who, no. who, who would be? Y'all don't want to make up who crazy to be. You, you. I'm just playing. I'm All just playing. All these niggas call bitches bitches. I'm hey. just playing. Nah, hey. play with your nigga. Hey. Don't play with me. Hey, I ain't say none of that shit. <laughs> I mean, so, so real to, to respond to your question, I think for me, um, I would say that most of the women that I have encountered or dated was obvious, somewhat lighter than me, but not red bones and this right. or that or other. So mm -hmm. it never really came into play. You kind of follow me? Yeah. Because I'm just a dog motherfucker. So, you know, you, you, you really going to see guys right. or women yeah. not scared of black. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with that though, bro. I'm cool with that being like You're this. You're a legend, yeah. man. Right. You kind of fun because you came back, you know. So I'm one. I want an original black man. You're a legend. So I accept that today. So, he said he O E. So I, so I don't. I don't. So like I said, 
I have encountered women with different complexion, but I never looked at women. Obviously, I can tell when a woman, you know, red, blonde, uh, dark skin. But you know, if I if I had a particular preference for the women that actually like blew my mind or opened my eyes, was some like chocolate motherfucker. Like, God damn, you dark as me. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So you know, those type of women that like blow my mind. But women who who lighter than me since I always like dated them and they always been lighter than me. So it really, you know, it's not But I prefer a woman that's uh, you know, someone who 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 who's open minded, someone who's in tune with herself, someone who's conscious of who she is, someone who understands what I'm going through as a man, someone who understands what she's going through as a woman. And I think, you know, we begin to compliment each other, but I don't necessarily go out and, and uh, seek out a particular uh, type mm-hmm. of woman. I don't see myself going out, you know, looking for, uh, you know, exotic looking women and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? As long as the motherfucker not a reader, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So, so out of the 31 flavors that you've dated, she wants to know which of the level was the craziest. Right. It's, it's all about Why the same amount. Okay. It's all about, no. it's all about, well, Dion already put everybody in a in one group. I don't think uh I said no I was one. joking. We was asking Derry. Hey. I mean so see see Bria, that's a question that 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 I can't really like say because I haven't really dealt this with women. Like, niggas like, crazy, but they say niggas crazy. Come on, bro. You know, we don't need no comment from the peanut right. gallery right now. <laughs> we, 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 we ain't going to go crazy. crazy. We ain't going to go crazy. So no comment from the peanut gallery right, right now. Is, with me. Right. You talking about what preference made you feel some type of way or whatever? All I'm saying, saying is a black I'm saying woman. Bro. Just say it was All a black I'm saying, woman. Brother, bro, when it is your time to contribute something to the positive, to the conversation, do we will welcomely invite you in. Y'all, y'all, y'all ducking around these no, conversations. No, so the That's que- what y'all doing. The question is for me, because we're talking about black women. Yeah. So, bro, I never and encountered. She asked you, right. and she asked you out of the 31 flavors, which one? She asked you no. out of the 31 uh, flavors, which one made you, goddamn it, uh, Feel some type That's of way. That's the question, brother. If you listen, you can hear. She said, out of 31 flavor, which women have I encountered have been the most crazy? If you shut right. the fuck up, then maybe you exactly. can Exactly. So just say <laughs> if it was a good thing or not. Just say if Okay, so we got, on that note, on that note, we're not going to say no woman is crazy. Let's no say if it crazy. was a nigga or not. The question was about colorism, and I think we kind of uh, ventured off from what the topic right. was. So if you're watching this video, Leave a comment under the video and let us know what you experienced with colorism. And I know we went deep into relationships and all that, but I guess it's all part of colorism. So we signing out here, Three the Hard Way TV. We like to thank the guests. And if you like skin, leave us a comment. Oh, if you like skin, leave a comment. If you got skin, subscribe. That's crazy. Race, man. Race. Now you know if if, if they like skin. We want to know because they was a rarity in the neighborhood. So we want to know what, what was going on with them. They weren't rare. They was just all oh, I'm saying, bro. Niggas. Okay. That's three all. The hard way. all day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way. <laughs> what TV is that? Uh, you hear that? Yeah. Turn it off, huh? <laughs> Beer coming in. Well, you can't grow no motherfucking beard. Nigga, the same face with us since we were 16. That nigga is so yeah. motherfucking young. He got show ID when he tried to buy the order. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the jokes to a minimum of five minutes. Everybody get muted. Okay, here, here we go.